Anthony B back with another video and then in this video uh, I have another HO scale update I know I haven't done a video in a while just school has been a lot um over there um I'm just gonna dive straight into it sorry so it's kind of messy down here just because I'm doing a lot of work to my layout and I actually have this it's actually kind of hard to climb onto my layout so I have all my roads and stuff, and I don't want to accidentally, like, rip the felt off. That's glued on. It's actually kind of, um, still drying. So, track is actually missing right there. Um, just because, uh, what's it called? Yeah, just because, um, I'm, ba I'm gonna, my next big project is going to be, um, what's it called? It's going to be ballasting all of the track, all of this, so it can look very good um, instead of doing a sloppy job like I did before, like this track not painted well, the ballast isn't that good. So, um, yeah, um, other things, uh, road obviously, you might have noticed Look at the road, it's a lot more even than before, so that's a thing. Um, got the Pepsi factory working. Let me just make sure. I don't want my train to run off the track, just because there's no track over there. Here we go. Start that up. And perfect. I have my Pepsi factory working. Yeah, um, overall, everything's going pretty good on the layout. Um... I really enjoy it, um, it's super fun, um, yeah, I added that right there, um, that, um, like, um, derailed car, I guess you could say, that's been there for a while, they haven't, like, cleaned it up yet, so, that's a thing, um, let me see, what else, I'm gonna be getting more steam trains soon. I might, um, either I'm gonna get the Union Pacific Big Boy, which is one of the trains that I've really wanted for a while. That's actually why I started doing trains. I really wanted the, um, Union Pacific Big Boy, just because I think it's so cool. Um, it's, like, one of my favorite trains, and if I can't get that, my second favorite train is the Union Pacific Challenger which I found a cheap price online for. Yeah, um, um, so hopefully soon, um, a review will be coming out of those. I'm, like, super excited just because, well, I really wanted to get the big boy for just a super long time, and hopefully I do get it. Um, they are expensive just because they're a collector's item, but I, if I ran that on my track, it would be, it would look very cool. So, yeah. I love this steam train right here. That one that I'm using my sweet laser pointer with. Um, that one, that's my only steam train. That's my second locomotive that I have. I want to get some more steam trains. Um, I'm going to be adding a spot to the layout over in that area. So actually, I have a little picture of what I kind of want my layout to look like. Um, I'm going to add a whole new section over here that's made based off of um, styrofoam. That way I can make a ton of mountains all over and stuff like that. Here is going to be what I want to make. Um, as you can see, um, before I had this little train, like, r train track right there, I got rid of it just to make that siding over there, um, right here, as you can see, and then on the inside rail, I want to make another switching track that has a ton of other lines connecting to it, um, as you can see, the big road, it, it goes off and then does... That, and then I want this to be kind of a crossroad up here. And then there's going to be a big store right there. Um, an icing station. I really want an icing station. Um, the train cars are super cool for icing stations. 
So that's why I really want to get one. Um, it's going to be a little pond, uh, lake over here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be sticking with this design. Um, I'm going to put up a ton of posters around here. So this, some other train posters that I have. I'm going to keep... I love this. I really want to keep my original box. I'm not going to ever throw that out. That's my first. That's actually not my first one. That's actually my second one. My second tr um, train box, what you might be thinking. Where's the second one? Well, I got that a super long time ago. It was when I was a kid and... Um, I still really like trains back then. I still love them today, as you can see. See how smoothly this runs? Oh, yeah. Um, so, you guys might have seen in my other HO scale update, I was trying to fix the tender from doing this. So, if the train went up a little ramp, it would do that, and the tender would lift up. But now... Um, since I don't have super high things that go up a lot, now I actually put a quarter in the back. That way, if it gets lifted up just a little bit, see how it's a bit harder, um, to get it? So, yeah, that's something that I added. So, that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video. Um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really like making these videos. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to smash that like button. And anyway, I'm out. Ah, I can't. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.